Now, another stress hormone called noradrenaline or norepinephrine is released when we encounter a stressful situation when we respond to it with anger or our impulse is to stay and fight. And then a third stress hormone called glycocortisol is the real culprit for many of us. The stress hormone, hormone cortisol is released in large amounts when we encounter a stressful situation that looks like it's going to be, take much, much longer. Now the brain recognizes that you're dealing with this daily chronic stress and it releases cortisol into your bloodstream to provide you with energy in the long run to deal with that stress. However, high levels of cortisol in our bloodstream cause symptoms like fatigue, feeling uh, constantly wired or on edge, sleep difficulties, metabolic syndrome, and it produces, uh, makes our body more susceptible to infections and illness. Now, high levels of cortisol are also associated with chronic inflammation in the body. I think of the phrase kind of wired and tired when I think of cortisol. 